ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் சார் அவர் சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் அண்ட் டாபிக் கம்ப்யூட்டர் கோட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ பார்ட் டூ வீடியோ இன் பார்ட் ஒன் வீடியோ வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த கோட்ஸ் ஆஸ்கி இபிசிடிஐசி ஐஎஸ்சிஐஐ அண்ட் யூனிகோட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் அகெயின் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோட் தே ஆர் பிசிடி வெயிட்டட் கோட் அண்ட் எக்ஸஸ் ஃப்ரீ கோட் லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் பட் டிஜிட்டல் codes what is a digital code we know decimal octal hexadecimal numbers can be converted to binary form and vice versa uh, we have already studied about this conversions not only numbers but letters other symbols can be represented by binary digits and therefore can be processed by the computer combinations of binary digits that represents numbers letters or symbols are called digital code we know that computers understands only the sequence of zeros and ones so everything the computer process that is letters numbers digits everything is converted to sequence of this binary form sequence of zeros and ones in order to process it by the computer so this combinations of binary digits that represent numbers letters or symbols are called as digital codes then first type of code is binary coded decimal that is bcd binary coded decimal then converting decimal numbers into binary what is the steps for converting a decimal number into binary uh, we will do repeated division right by 2 repeated division by 2 and we will be sorting the remainders from uh, the reverse order uh, then we will get a binary number so we dealt with the numbers as a whole right if we are uh, converting the number 128 we are dividing the 128 by 2 repeatedly right and finished up with a single binary number representing the decimal number that was our process this method is known as pure binary this is a pure binary form bcd is something different from this pure binary the this binary pure binary conversion process requires complex digital circuits and the conversion process is generally slower so we can do it manually but using computers we are using uh, we are converting that uh, decimal into pure binary using digital circuits that circuits are complex and it will take uh, more time in smaller digital systems like uh, desk calculator digital clock etc it is uneconomical to incorporate complex electronic circuits to convert decimal to binary and vice versa okay this conversion is somewhat difficult and it needs a complex circuits and also it takes more time so in smaller digital systems like computer i mean desk calculator digital clocks etc uh, this is not fair to uh, incorporate uh, this uh, this much complex electronic circuits so here we are using another technique that is this bcd in such systems where decimal information is directly transferred into or out of a digital system another method of representing the decimal numbers in binary digits are employed the concept is uh, we are giving inputs as uh, decimal numbers right we are giving decimal numbers as input and uh, we are getting decimal numbers as output but the intermediate form that is we are giving a decimal number the computer converts that into binary then process it and then give output as again as decimal number in such systems another method of representing decimal numbers into binary digits is employed this pure binary method is the method for converting a decimal into binary but in this loco systems we are using a second method for converting uh, the computer needs a binary number to process that's it uh, it doesn't care about what is, whether it is pure binary or uh, something like that but here this binary or the decimal is not a pure binary form but we are giving input as decimal number and uh, uh, we will get outputs also as decimal numbers the intermediate form as something different from this pure binary mm. this method is called binary coded decimal representation or bcd in short um it is based on the idea of converting each digit of a decimal number into a nine bit binary code rather than converting the entire decimal value into pure binary form okay so uh, if the number is like 129 129 in pure binary form we divide 129 by 
the whole number is divided repeatedly divided by 2 but here in for in bcd uh, we will be dealing with each digit 1 2 9 the first the 1 is converted to binary then 2 is converted to binary then 9 is converted to binary okay in pure binary form we are converting the whole number into a binary but in this uh, binary uh, coded decimal the idea of converting each digit of a decimal number into a 9 bit binary code rather than converting the entire decimal value into pure binary form since there are 10 symbols in decimal system right in decimal system uh, we will be having 0 through 9 10 symbols so here at least uh, 4 bits are required to represent the decimal digit okay there was a mistake like uh, this is not 9 bit this is 4 bit here each binary digit of a decimal number is converted to a 4 bit binary code rather than converting the entire value into pure binary form uh, this 4 bit is because uh, since there are 10 symbols in a decimal system in decimal system we are having 0 to through 9 symbols uh, we know up to 8 symbol that is up to 0 to 7 we need 3 bits to represent a 0 to 7 combination like 0 0 0 0 0 1 up to 1 1 1 here we are having up to 9 not 7 up to 9 uh, symbols are here or, or totally 10 symbols are there so we need uh, one more bit that is we need 4 bit to represent the decimal digit a decimal digit that's why each decimal digit is converted into a 4 bit binary code the useful codes uh, are generally divided into four classes they are first one weighted codes self complementing codes cyclic reflected or gray code uh, this is not gray D, this is gray uh, gray code, G-R-A-Y, gray codes, error detecting and correcting codes. These are the major uh, classes of this codes. Uh, weighted, uh, self complementing, cyclic, error detecting and correcting. Next, starting with weighted codes. So, we have discussed what is BCD. BCD, in BCD, uh, we are not converting the entire decimal into a binary but here each decimal digit is converted into its 4 bit equivalent 4 bit binary equivalent okay uh, before that let's consider uh, one example in bcd suppose our um, number is 3 2 1 okay 3 2 1 is our number so instead of converting i mean dividing repeatedly dividing this 3 to 1 by 2 uh, what we are doing is that this 3 is converted to a 4 bit code this 2 is converted to its equivalent uh, 4 bit code this 1 is also converted to its equivalent 4 bit code uh, so when 3 is converted to its equivalent 4 bit code we will get 0 0 1 1 right when 2 is converted we will get 0 0 1 0 when 1 is converted, we will get 0, 0, 1. So, this 321 equal to this in binary. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This number will be stored in form of binary. Okay. This was the example. Then, about weighted codes. In weighted code, each digit position has a weight or value. Uh, we have studied about this place value, right? This is same as uh, that concept. Each digit position has a weight. The sum of all digits multiplied by weight gives a total amount being represented. That we already know. The sum of all digits multiplied by a weight gives a total amount being represented. Different types of weighted codes. These weighted codes are of different types. Uh, they are known as 8421, 2421. And these are the examples. Standard binary coded decimal code is commonly known as weighted 8421 BCD code. Okay. Binary coded decimal. This is BCD. The standard BCD is also known as weighted 8421 BCD code. The weights are 8, 4, 2 and 1. Representing the weights of the different bits starting from the MSB and proceeding towards the least significant bit LSB. The weights of the individual positions of the bits of a BCD code are... 2 raised to 3, that is 8. 2 raised to 2, that is 4. 2 raised to 1, that is 2. 2 raised to 0, that is 1. This concept is uh, very easy. Like, uh, we take a number. 
बी सी डी विल बी फोर बिट्स कोड्स राइट ईच डिजिट इज कन्वेटड टू ए फोर बिट सपोज आवर नंबर इज सिक्स आवर नंबर इज सिक्स द सिक्स इज कन्वेटड टू बी सी डी इन जीरो वन वन जीरो यूसिंग ए फोर बिट एंड दिस बिट विल बी हैविंग ए वेट ऑफ Two raised to zero. This bit having a weight of two raised to one. This bit having a weight of two raised to two. And this bit will be having a weight of two raised to three. That's why this BCD is known as eight four two one. Here two raised to three is eight. Two raised to two is four. Two raised to two, one is two, and two raised to zero is one. Eight four two one, and when we multiply the digit with the weights and summing up, we will get the amount being represented. Two raised to zero is one, right? One plus two raised to one into one. Uh, okay, now two raised to zero into zero. Two raised to zero into zero means one into zero. We will get zero as answer plus. One into two raised to one. One into two raised to one is two is the answer. Then one into two raised to two. One into two raised to two means four is the answer. Plus two raised to three, eight. Eight into zero means zero is the answer. So our result will be four plus two, six. Six is the amount being represented. This is the concept of uh, weighted codes. Next is the non-weighted codes. In non-weighted code, there is no positional weight. That is, each position within the binary number is not assigned a prefix value. No specific positions are assigned to bit positions in non-weighted codes. Okay, here there is no specific positions or specific values. The non-weighted codes are generally uh, these are the examples of non-weighted codes: gray code and access tree code. So let's discuss about access tree code. The access tree codes or access tree. is a non weighted code used to express decimal numbers okay this code is used for representing decimal numbers they are unweighted okay no weight is assigned and can be obtained by this access tree from the name itself uh, we can get how to convert a code into access tree that is uh, a code access tree code is obtained by adding 3 to each decimal digit it is accessed by 3 right so uh, we will get this access tree code by adding 3 to each decimal digit then it can be represented by using four bit binary number for each digit an access tree equivalent of a given binary number is obtained using the following step the first step is to find the decimal equivalent of the given binary number we can convert that binary number into decimal okay then add 3 to each digit of a decimal number you can add 3 to each digit then convert the newly obtained decimal number back to binary to get the required access tree equivalent o we can add uh, the 3's binary is 0011 right so we can add 0011 to each four bit group in binary coded decimal to get desired access tree equivalent next uh, convert the following numbers into access tree okay this is our number 87 is our number convert this 87 into access tree So we have to add three to each digit. Eighty-seven, seven is added with a three, and eight is added with three. We will get what? Seven plus three is equal to eleven. Sorry, sorry, seven plus three is equal to ten. Eight plus three is equal to eleven. So eleven and ten is the answer, and we have to convert this into its binary, four-bit binary. Eleven is equal to one zero one one. Ten is equal to one zero one zero. So eighty seven in access tree form is one zero one 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 zero one zero. Let's consider another example one fifty three. So what we have to do is to add three 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 right? One plus three five plus three and nine plus three. One five nine added with three three three. This bit is added nine plus three. Then five plus three three plus one three plus one is four. Five plus three is eight. Nine plus three is twelve. Then what to do? Convert these values into its corresponding binary. Four in binary is zero one double zero. Eight in binary is one double zero one triple zero. Twelve in binary is double one double zero. So our one fifty nine 
equals 0 1 double 0 1 triple 0 double 1 double 0 this is the method then uh, if we are giving like uh, a binary a bcd number i guess uh, 1 1 this is our 1 1 okay 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 then 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 next 0 0 1 1 okay this is our bcd type number bcd binary coda decimal each digit is represented in four bits binary then uh, we have to convert this into access tree code for that we can add three to each four bit groups and the three in binary is what zero zero one one is the binary equivalent of three so we can add this three into each four bit group so one one then adding we will get 1 plus 1 we will get 0 and 1 carry triple 1 we get 1 and 1 carry then by adding 0 1 1 0 then here 1 again 1 plus 1 0 with the 1 carry and again here 1 0 1 0 1 here 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 with 1 carry 1 plus 1 again 0 with 1 carry again 1 so this is our answer this is how to convert a bcd into access free code or if we are giving a decimal number if we are given a decimal number then we can add 3 to each uh, individual bits and convert that into binary if we are given a binary number we can uh, find the decimal equivalent then repeat the process if we are given a bcd number then we can add 0, 0, 0011 1 to each four bit groups so uh, this is all about today um, we have discussed about bcd binary code decimal here Instead of converting the entire number into binary by repeatedly dividing by 2, we are converting each digit into its 4-bit binary equivalent. Then uh, there are many categories of this uh, BCDs, um, accessory code, um, gray code, um, not gray code, uh, I will show you. Okay. Ah, these are the different methods, uh, weighted codes, self-complementing codes, cyclic codes and error detecting codes. And uh, we have discussed about weighted codes. What is weighted code here? Each digit position has a weight or value and uh, the sum of all digits multiplied by a weight gives a total amount. Then uh, we have discussed about non-weighted codes which is having uh, not a uh, weight is not assigned to each digit and the examples are gray code and accessory code and what is accessory code here each decimal digit is added with a 3 and converted to binary here are the steps if we are given a binary number if we are given a binary number first convert into decimal equivalent then add 3 to each digit then again convert the newly obtained number back to binary if uh, we are given a bcd number you can add 0, 0, 0011 1 to each 4 bit group to get the accessory equivalent. Uh, this was the example. Okay, hope the concept is clear. Thank you.